Um, but like in that time, in that window, like be in the moment. <laughs> My people, my people, what is going on? It's your boy Jay Shane, the Keto Road. It is Wednesday. We are chilling. Woke up, had my first meal, um, and had some coffee. Uh, it's been a, it's been a fun. It's been an interesting morning. I'm not gonna say like fun, but um, you know, I've just been doing a lot of reflecting. Um, you know, after you know, yesterday, obviously, I saw that video. Um, you know, it takes some time to like let things sink in, really reflect on things, be at peace with things. Um, and I'm at peace. I'm excited now. You know, the, the decision's made. It's done. Uh, I'm just looking forward to the next three days, trying to make the most out of them, be in the moment. Guys, when you have a goal that you're finishing, like be in the moment. Don't worry about all the crap. You can worry about other things later. Um, but like in that time, in that window, like be in the moment like if you're about to finish a weight loss journey or you're about to compete in something or you're about to have a birthday or a holiday like be in the moment right and that doesn't mean like obsess about food that doesn't mean um you know i don't know go crawl in a hole but like take some time to just reflect right like i've been taking time this morning to reflect on this dieting process in general and how happy I am with um, what I've been able to accomplish. You know, I've lost 50 plus pounds in the past five months and three weeks. Like, that's insane. Um, and so, you know, and, and, and this journey really for me started two years ago after my last show when I told myself I was going to compete again and I was going to beat myself and lo and behold it's going to happen uh, I made it happen it, two years it took two years to get my hormones healthy enough for this to work it took two years for me to develop the resolve I had towards my eating disorders and my body dysmorphia it took me two years to build the muscle I have like it took time good things take time and it's this is a good thing and it took time, and I'm happy with it. Um, it's fun to think that this is my last day of like dieting because come tomorrow is my first refeed. So I'm kind of enjoying the day. I enjoyed my breakfast. Um, going to do a little bit of cardio today. So now that it's like an actual peak week and not like a fake peak week, I'm so glad I found out yesterday. I'm so glad it wasn't like tomorrow. That would have sucked. Um, so you know now I have time to like really like treat it like a peak week. So Today, tomorrow, and Friday are just going to be full body band workouts. We're really focused on just blood flow. We're going to do some posing. Um, and then I'm going to do like three or four laps around the uh, neighborhood today. I'm not going to do seven, um, which I'm so happy about because my hip, guys, my hip is so jacked up right now. I didn't want to talk about it too much because I didn't want to whine. But like Monday, oh, God. And then yesterday it hurt. This morning it hurt. It's just been terrible. So I'm glad I get to give it a break. Um, so we're going to be easy on the hip been doing a lot of stretching gonna do some more stretching just kind of go through the day and enjoy it um not really worried about meal timings or anything just gotta you know get in the last day of macros and obviously you know hit those macros and go into the refeed knowing that um you know i didn't cheat on my diet once which is cool <laughs> you know um so that's that um i'll talk to you in a little bit all right guys so Y'all know I've been, I've been eating the same foods for the past two weeks. I had that perfect macro meal plan and I loved it. But today I decided to get a little inventive. Still same foods, but instead of doing a burger and then eggs, I did, I just put all the meat with the eggs and I made an egg sandwich. Can we just take a second? Can we just take a second and look at this? Oh my God. Look at that. I mean, so, uh, what is going on, guys? All right, so we've just been at the table all day, literally working, client work, coaching, macros, all that fun stuff. Um, been a good day of reflection. Something I learned in school, I want to really start sharing a lot of, like, I'm really going to start going into my education as a nutritional therapist. I've been learning and 
building confidence in what I know and obviously you know my prep has been the full focus of my YouTube channel and everything but we're about to start bleeding into my brand and my vision and all I'm so excited and so one thing I want to talk about real quick for you guys is breathing you have to understand that stress management is huge for weight loss it's huge for overall health it's huge for hormone balance and one of the best ways to stimulate what's called your parasympathetic nervous system to help you relax is breathing. There's a breathing technique I'm going to teach you real quick. It's called the 479, and it works wonders, all right? And so basically what you do is if you're having anxiety, you're having a stressful day before you eat, before you go to sleep, when you wake up, these are great times to practice this. Uh, you're going to breathe in deep through your nostrils for four seconds. You're going to hold it for seven, and you're going to breathe out for nine. So let, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it with you guys because I just freaking love it. Okay, so we're going to breathe in. Let's do it one more time. Ready? feels so good. I love doing that when I feel panic or anxiety or I'm just done with the day right now. Oh, it's amazing. So definitely try that out. Um, breathing is so big and we're going to get more into stress management and why it's so important when it comes to weight loss and why if you have a high stress life, it could literally be stopping you from losing body fat. Um, let me know if, there, if, if that's something you'd be interested in. Give a video a thumbs up. Put it in the comments below. Start asking me questions about nutrition and stuff, guys. I, um, I just, uh, I want to know what your thoughts are. I want to know what y'all want to know, what I can answer. Um, but yeah, so we'll start getting into that stuff. Um, tomorrow's refeed, so I'll take you through my refeed day. Lots, lots more food photos. Um, but that's it for today, guys. I'm going to go talk to my wife before she goes to work. And I'm going to go to bed. So I will see y'all tomorrow.